Welcome back to Scratch Programming with a fun project. Before we start making this project, we need to learn about loops first. Loop programming is when we tell the computer to do something over and over again. It's like asking a friend to count to ten instead of counting one number at a time. It counts all the way up to ten without stopping. In programming, we use loops to repeat a set of instructions or actions. We can tell the computer how many times we want the loop to repeat, and it will keep doing the same thing until it reaches that number. Let's say you're using Scratch to make a ball move to the right. You can make it move 10 steps by clicking on a special block. But if you want it to move more than 10 steps, you'll have to click on the block many times. But that can be tiring. Instead, you can use a special command called repeat loop. This will tell the computer to make the ball move to the right multiple times automatically, so you won't have to click as much. That's basically what a loop is in programming, a way to get the computer to do something repeatedly without us having to type out every single step. Today, we're going to learn about two types of loops in Scratch that can make our games more fun. The first type is called a repeat loop. This loop helps us repeat an action a certain number of times. For example, if we want a character to jump three times, we can use a repeat loop and tell it to jump three times. The second type of loop is called a forever loop. This loop helps us repeat an action again and again until the game stops. For example, if we want a character to keep walking forwards, we can use a forever loop and tell it to keep walking until the game stops. By using these loops, we can make our games more interesting and exciting. Let's make a fun game called Jumping Chicken using Scratch. To start a Scratch project, go to scratch.mit.edu. Then, click Create. Close the tutorial. You'll see a cat on the screen. Click on the cat sprite, and then click on the bin to delete it. Click on the Backdrops option, mountain icon, and select the blue sky backdrop. Click on the sprite option, cat icon, and add a new sprite called Chick. Click on the sprite option again and add a new sprite called egg. On the left side of the screen, click on variables and create a new variable called score. Setting initial values. Select the chick sprite and go to events. Select when green flag clicked. Then go to motion and choose go to xy and set x as negative 180 and y as negative 120. This will be the starting position for the chick. Go to Variables and select Set Score to Zero. This will set the score to zero when the player starts a new game. To make the chick jump and score points, go to Events and select One Space Key Pressed. When you press the space bar, the code below will run. Go to Sound and select Start Sound Chirp to make the chick chirp when it jumps. Go to Motion and select Change Y by 10. Then go to Control and select Repeat 10. Snap these two blocks together and put them under Start Sound. This will make the chick jump by moving 10 steps each time. And it does this 10 times in a row. We don't make it move up 100 steps at once because it would be too fast to see the movement. Go back to Motion and select Change Y by negative 10 to make the chick come back down. Then go to Control and select Repeat 10. Snap these two blocks together and put them under the previous blocks. To score points, go to Variables and select Change Score by 1 under the blocks to make the chick come back down. Click on the egg sprite. You will see an egg shadow in the coding area. To make the egg move towards the chick, go to Events and select When Green Flag Clicked. This will make the following code run immediately when we start the game. Go to Motion and select Go to XY. Set X as 240 and Y as negative 140 to make the egg start at the beginning point on the right side of the screen. Go to Motion again and select Glide 1 sec to XY. Set time to 3 seconds and X as negative 240 and Y as negative 140. Snap these two blocks together and put them inside a forever block under When Green Flag Clicked. This will make the egg move towards the chick and back to its starting point until we stop the game.
To check if the egg hits the chicken cracks, you need to set the egg to the normal look. At the start of the game by going to events and selecting when green flag clicked. Then go to looks and select switch costume to egg A. Go to control and select wait until. Then go to sensing and select touching chick. Snap this block under switch costume to egg A. This will check if the egg hits the chick. Go back to looks and select switch costume to egg B. This will make the egg look like it has cracked when it hits the chick. Finally, go to control and select stop all. This will make the game stop after the chick hits the egg. Try your game by clicking on the green flag and hitting the space bar to make the chick jump. Good luck!